In this video, we're going to focus on the layout options for the Chart.js plugin data labels. However, this layout option is not really a Chart.js plugin function. And the reason why is this is basically this we are, when we, in the previous video, we have added some padding. And what we have noticed is now that our chart is being cut off here, or at least the data label is being chopped off here part of it which is of course not a nice view for your customer or for your viewers. So this is not a nice user experience. So what we want to do is we want to ex expand this. How do we need to do it? Well, I will show you exactly the way because it's directly set from Chart.js itself. But, but the real issue here is basically the padding. So let's work around with the padding. So you might say, well, if the padding is an issue here, we will just expand here in the canvas tag we just add up here padding. However, this will not work. So let me say this one. So for example, here we put in the canvas. Let me say here padding 20 pixels. If we do 20 pixels here and we save that and refresh, you can see now nothing happens. There's a padding around the canvas. Then we have added the padding. However, the canvas is not working on this. And the reason why is basically we need to not add the padding here but we need to add a padding in the canvas itself because right now what happens is the the canvas tag has been squeezed basically this is the content box and here right now because we have the border box settings and this will be just adding on here so we don't want to add a padding around it but we want to we want the padding within the content box here so how do we do this well in charge as we have a very basic layout option here. This is a namespace, is the options.layout. And in here we can control the padding and this padding is directly inside the chart. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's start and explore here. So instead of doing this, we can remove this and we have to, well, we can remove that as well. And we have to put in a settings in the options. And in the options, we just put in enter. And then we say here layout and in the layout, we're going to say here padding and then we can put in 20, 20 as a value because it's a number. Put a comma here at the end. So indicating that we have another value here around. And then once we refresh, you can see now our problem has been solved. So this is a very important option here because it is directly set in here. And you can see here basically in the canvas, there is as well here a block and it says here the box sizing is border box so it is a border box and now directly with the with the padding within here it will start to work exactly as we want and this is very very important if you ever see your data ladies being chopped off or cut away use this option here layout and then the padding directly in the options here Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.